there is an invitational level in one of those spaces versus the other. Mm -hmm. So I think it's always easier to welcome people into your own house mm -hmm. or to meet with friends at a bar or in a backyard and or, do all of these things because you have great liberty to make other people feel at home. When you invite someone into your church, I mean, you invite them, you, they, they sit in a pew or wherever. When you invite someone to your home, the first place you typically take them, it's into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And there's much a deeper and emotional value right. when you invite someone to that space. You know, because life happens in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Family happens in the kitchen. You've basically invited them into your family right. when you invite them to the kitchen. I think what else I'm hearing in this theme is talking about the ownership and the understood rules and not understood rules and how we have more basically ownership at home to feel like we can control those rules. But what it actually does is gives us ownership in what's happening, which mm. does not happen always in a local like church building or anywhere else we go. Uh, like you said, we might be spectators, but when we're hosting or we're, we're at somebody's house, we're in it because right. it's a small group and we're there to be there with each other, not to go and watch somebody do the thing for us, right. um, which church today has become so much of, let me watch the official person do the Jesus thing for me, feel good about it and check it off my list. Yep. But discipleship is a ongoing life in type process. Right. 